Hi there. You know, one thing a lot of my clients say to me, I work a lot with couples. I work a lot with individual clients who are talking about their relationships. And one thing that people say to me is, you know, I try to say what I need and I just get accused of nagging. You know, I, I, I get accused of moaning and nagging and I'm not heard and I just want to say what I need. And it's so frustrating, isn't it? Because you're really just saying what's in your heart and, and what you feel if, you know, things could be a bit different. And the other person is also upset because they're just hearing moaning and nagging because they're not really, you know, they're not getting the mess. The message isn't getting through. So what can we do about that? Well, there are several things that we can do about that. The first thing is, you know, as human beings, we tend to focus on what we don't want. It's kind of in our makeup to do that. We're kind of hardwired. It's a survival thing. You know, we, you know, if you think about our ancestors, they weren't sort of saying, well, I do want to sort of get on better with this wild animal that's chasing me. <laughs> of course, we didn't. We said, I don't want to be eaten and we'd run. So, you know, I don't want, don't want, don't want. It's a survival thing. But the problem is when we do it today in our relationships and we're constantly saying, I don't want, I don't like, I wish you wouldn't, it doesn't work, it's no good, I don't want. It kind of sends the other person down a kind of dead end path because well, what do they do with that? They just feel judged and blamed and, and then they say, oh, you're nagging, you're moaning because they, they've got nowhere to go with it. If we can recognise that we're doing don't wants and flip them into do wants, then we kind of give that other person something they can do. So I don't want this turns into, I would love it if you would. It would work really well for us if you could. I don't want you to never, you know, you never do the housework and I have to do it all and I don't want that. Turns into... You know, when you help around the house, it's really great. It makes me feel great. Gives us more time together. And it's great for us as our for our relationship. And I really appreciate it. Feels better, doesn't it? There's so many different things, I'm sure, in your life that I don't want and do want. I hate it when you ignore me. Can turn into, oh, I really appreciate it when you take time to give me a moment of your time. It, I feel I feel really connected with you. Thank you for that. It encourages the person to do it more, doesn't it? So if you're stuck in a kind of situation where somebody is saying, oh, you're moaning, you're nagging, it, think about you don't want, write them down and then flip them into what is the opposite of that? What is the do want? And start communicating from the do want perspective. The other thing about this moaning, nagging thing is that quite often when we're trying to communicate with somebody, we're so frustrated and we keep saying the same thing over and over. Have you ever had that experience? I know I have. And I'm saying, yes, but you're not listening to me. Ha, ah, hello, can anybody hear me? And, and actually, that's kind of the time when a person says, oh, gosh, you're nagging, you're moaning at me, because it becomes all about you doing that. And the actual message that you're trying to get across just gets lost. That, that person is saying, you, you're going on at me. You know, you're, you're having a go at me. And I don't like it. And it feels uncomfortable. And I'm feeling judged. I'm feeling blamed. I'm feeling frustrated. So the way to get around that is to not keep repeating yourself. Find an opportune moment. Can you notice how I'm slowing my language, my speech down here? Find an opportune moment to speak calmly and clearly. A moment when that person is not on their way out the door or you're in the middle of cooking or they're in the middle of cooking or you're in the middle of trying to do something on your laptop or, you know, find an opportune moment where you both have some time and space. Say what you want to say, the calm voice and more slowly and say it once twice at absolute most and don't say it again so that person has time to process that message 
they're not hearing. And another thing, and I'll say it again, and I'll say it from this perspective, and I'll say it from that perspective. They're actually just hearing the message. And then leave it for a day or so. Remember, most human beings need time to process information just because you've been thinking about this thing for a while and it's been going around in your head and you're ready to say it. This other person, it might be a complete surprise to them. They, they won't know about it. So give them time. Or maybe it's an argument that you have all the time and the other person is going to, oh, they're, they're saying it again. So give them time to actually absorb your calm, firm, once said message. And then you can always come back and do that again the next day or the next week. Just repeat the same message in the same calm way, but once, not over and over and over. That person then doesn't actually have the space to say, oh, you're moaning at me. And making it all about that, they kind of have to really think about the message you've said because there isn't any moaning around it. It's just the message. So that's a really helpful way to actually get your message across without being accused of moaning and nagging because you're not really, are you? And I'd like to finish this video by saying, you know, you're doing just fine. Life is just fine. Our relationships, they're there for us to learn. They're there for us to get things wrong and get things right and all the bits in between and all the muddle of it all. That's what relationships are about. They're kind of a bit like a kind of metaphorical school where we learn stuff because we, we come up against things and we clash with each other and we have disagreements and, and then we can work it through and think about it, learn better communication skills, try different things. And that's how we grow and that's how we evolve. So try these tips that I've given you in this video. I'd love to hear your comments in the video, below the video. And do hit the thumbs up like button if you liked it so that other people get to see it and you're helping me to help them. Hit subscribe and that way you'll know when new videos come out. I'm looking forward to, I'm already looking forward to making the next one. I love making these videos. So I'll say goodbye for now and I'll see you next time. Bye.